My name is Carl Delkey. I'm running for Third Ward City Council in Moorhead. Great. So what are the most important issues in your race? Well, I believe that uh, the, most, the very most important issue for Moorhead is, is promotion and retention of business. Moorhead needs business very, very bad. Uh, I believe that should be the number one priority. Uh, number two is we need to complete the diversion. Uh, number three is uh, Moorhead needs to work with the Border City legislation to continue to kind of level the playing field and also maybe to help Moorhead promote uh, uh, maybe some more help. And the uh, last item, I believe, is the 11th Street underpass. Uh, I, I truly feel that that should have come before the 21st Street underpass, but it is, uh, it's very important, especially with all the trains we have. We have to have some way to get from one side of town to the other. So how would you go about addressing these issues? Well, I would promote Morad as a good place to do business. Uh, we also need to encourage our citizens to work with the city and to give their support to the businesses that are in Moorhead. I go way back, I'm an older fellow, I go way back to when Moorhead was a vibrant, busy downtown. All the streets in downtown Moorhead were busy. That isn't going to happen again because history doesn't always repeat itself. But with some work and effort, I think uh, it can happen again. I've seen it before, it should be able to happen again. We had a lot less people at that time, and we had a tremendous amount of business in Moorhead. Uh, we've got some exciting things happening in Moorhead. Uh, we've got a new economic development director. He's, uh, he's very impressive. He came from Fargo, by the way. <laughs> Derek LaPointe. Uh, I think he's gonna do some good things for Moorhead. He has wonderful ideas, and I believe that we need the whole council to support him. And that also brings about having business people on the council. So that would be that issue. Uh, also, I think we, we have incentives in Moorhead for uh, home builders, we have incentives for uh, construction uh, of buildings and apartments, and I believe we need to create some incentives for small business. Now, big business will probably fall under one of the other issues, but I believe we need to in, in, you know, have some incentives for small business operations. One of them could be maybe some city guaranteed loans, or I don't know exactly. Oh. Okay, and, but that would be one issue. We need to continue to support the diversion. Uh, if something would happen, the diversion doesn't go through. Moorhead has 800 homes that will fall back under uh, the uh, flood issues. Uh, and we also need to work with the uh, border city legislation. We need to work to establish the 11th Street and Underpass has been added to our list of projects in Moorhead. So it's, it's got pretty much everybody's okay, but we need to start working on the funding and we need to start working on the construction end of it, uh, planning for the construction. It, um, uh, it takes time. And you know, they're gonna finish the 21st Street project uh, probably in the early part of 2020 and we need to get this rolling right now so it doesn't take us 10 years to get it done. Um, you know, uh, the last issue, I guess, is why people should vote for me. Yep. Well, I, I'm a lifelong resident of Moorhead and Clay County. Uh, I have also been, been in business all my life. I've uh, had, uh, I started out in life as a salesman for a parts firm in Fargo. Uh, I then started Cardio Texaco on Moorhead, which was a big Texaco station on the corner of 8th and Main, where Kentucky Fried Chicken is right now. From there, I went out to the Double D Restaurant and Lounge, which was about six miles east of Moorhead on I-94. And then after that, to kind of complete my working, or my 
before I retired, then I went to Vegan Johnson Furniture in Holly, and I managed that store for a number of years. Uh, I've been married to my wife for 43 years. I'm a Moorhead High graduate. I, I went to NDSU for a couple years, and I'm also a graduate, graduate of Dakota Business College in, in accounting. <clears throat> 